Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Finding Advice of Gatchabros. We had a three streak, we had a three streak, let's not fret, cause we had a three... 26XA2TKE. Ooh, baby, I love your way. We got a tiny planet here to start with. That's just absolute uh, fun. It's a fun time. It's, it's a birthday party. It's uh, a time for everybody to get together and have, uh, you know, cake and ice cream together. It's not really, though. Okay, our golden chest contained a fly. I didn't realize that we were holding poker chip. If I'd known that we were holding Poker Chip, and I'd internalized what Poker Chip could do for us, negatively speaking, there goes our eternal heart already, um, I probably would have saved that key to just use on the shop, but I figured, oh, we'll probably get another one. Let's mix it up. Well, we did get another one. I, uh, to be fair, we probably got such a good chest from the first chest because of Poker Chip. Uh, and, and we probably have a, this much money because of Poker Chip, but at the same time... I guess it gives us pause to avoid uh, opening chests willy-nilly in the future. I'm not going to sweat losing the Eternal Heart on the first floor. Easy come, easy go on that stuff. That's not, um, that's not really going to make me lose sleep. What I do want to do is go to the shop on this floor and hopefully pick up some wonderful stuff that actually gives us a much better chance of success in the future. With Tiny Planet, it's not a stat, but uh, one thing I would really like to pick up in the form of an item is any... Alternative damage source. So second floor, we're gonna be looking for like sack dagger. But first floor boss, if you could be cube of meat, that would be awesome. Or if you could be famine and then give me cube of meat, that would be awesome. Let's see what we got inside of our shop. Uh, compass is well worth it. Then we have a option of a key or a spirit heart. Now we can get uh, both. Now just make sure you don't walk back in the opposite direction or in the, in the obvious direction where that thing is located there next time. Let's try not to die on the first floor, okay? Let's sincerely try not to die on the first floor. Okay, alright, we died. That's actually embarrassing. Let's start up another run as Eden. There's no hiding it. That's a horrible start. <laughs> I've been playing pretty bad lately. FXDQ48M9. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Why didn't I pick up the red heart? I, nine times out of ten. So 95 times out of 100. We never would have needed it. Just that one time. It's a good reminder to always be on your game when it comes to fundamentals. But you know what? Three streak, no big deal. I'm going to try to start piecing together a beautiful streak here. It was tiny play. It's, it was my own fault. Let me get that out of the way. Take some responsibility. However... Um, it was Tiny Planet knocking that other enemy into us. That was the true nightmare uh, there. Okay, just be cool here for a second. Grab your money, use the lover's card, pick this up, try to bait this guy, grab this one, two of diamonds. I'm gonna pop it. It's not the right order to do things, but I really didn't want to fuck around with that, that thing anymore. Okay, good stuff. Um... Yeah, it was it was uh, Tiny Planet knocking the enemy into me that caused the serious problem there. And I just want to point out, it might seem like I'm playing super badly right now, almost died on that room, but, you know, Ultra Lust or Super Lust is not the ideal first enemy to be facing on an Isaac run. Let's get that out of the way. Now, it's not really a great excuse, but at the same time, I'm going to not beat myself up over... Beat myself... Beat myself up... Beat myself up over it. Um... Instead, we're going to focus on playing well in the future. This is not the secret room. I mean, it is, but I didn't place the bomb properly. Making a lot of mistakes here in the early game. Would benefit us to just slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. You don't need to knock out, you know, five Isaac runs in an hour and a half here. You just need to make sure that you win. And we've actually got a pretty okay run for starters here. Uh, Mongo Baby is... At best, like a B minus item, but that's not bad. I'm talking about like a college B minus, not a high school B minus, um, or a middle school B minus, for that matter. Stay out of the way of that. Got a lot of keys out of this. Um, I think that uh, wooden nickel is actually very solid as well. You think about it, it's probably like it. It basically takes up rent in our active item slot. But it probably gives us like 8 to 10 cents per floor depending on how many rooms there are. On average, I'd say 8 to 10. Some rooms it'll give us 30. Some rooms it will give us, you know, 4. 
But uh, I'll take what I can get right now, and I think this is pretty good. Now, this is awesome. We got safety pin. Gives us a demon heart that we can use to protect ourselves here. Hoping we get an arcade and a boss trap room. An arcade that's actually proper. We've been seeing so many arcades that are like, um, you know, key beggars and... Let me turn my volume here. There we go. Only for me. You, you probably noticed no change. But, um, like, key beggar and bed. These are the worst of all the possible libraries available to us. I'm going to use a key here. Mmm, this is good, though. Glitter bombs. Uh, we, we can do something with those immediately. But I, basically, I would teleport out of our boss trap room. Uh, after getting the access to the boss trap room via the fact that we would have a blood bank, of course. Okay, uh, I think we should honestly pursue this. We've spent three bombs now. We got Mom's Pearl and our Tinted Rock. Then we add in a key. Makes it so shops can't have greed. We got Explosive Diarrhea. I'm gonna get hit. Yeah. yeah. I got a penny out of it. I guess from one of the bombs being a glitter bomb, which is kind of funny. Um, let's take our other pill. Pretty fly. This was all worth it. Um, I think I'm better off with Mom's Pearl than with uh, the shop key. It doesn't make it so greed can't be on the shop. It makes it so it doesn't cost a key to go into our shop, right? Yeah, Rib of Greed is the one that makes it so greed can't be on the shop. Okay, one bomb has given us 10 cents. That's a very, very good trade. There is a boss trap room. Now all we need to fulfill our prophecy here is a uh, is an arcade that's traditional. Now, even if we don't find one... I'll try to go maybe into the secret room and make it happen. Their champion belt is a nice pickup. At least a decent pickup. Remember, we should be using this every room. We're not the keeper. We don't have to wait until the end of the room to do it. Um, I didn't see what that card was either. And we should take a peek just in case it's something really useful for us. Like a... Chump. Hey, like a chump. Like a chump. Hey, like a chump. Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad being the laughing stock of the neighborhood. And you think that I should be moving on. Because I'm a sucker like I say. Fucked up in the head. Nah. Anyway. Okay. Nine cents. Our boss fights. You have to forgive me my moments of uh, trespassing against Limb Biscuit. As we forgive Limb Biscuit for the trespasses against us. You know, this is my 3,000th run of Isaac or something along these lines. Eh, probably like 2400, something like that. You gotta spice it up a little bit. We get Mom's Lipstick, we get Dark Bum. These are fantastic items. Now all we need is, um, like Bloody Penny, and we're in a ridiculously good spot. Now we actually could just go to that boss trap room. And in fact, I may just do that, but let's see what our card is here. The Tower. It's a bad card. We're gonna try to use it to good effect. Sometimes bad cards can do good things. And it, that one found us a secret room, in addition to doing a lot of damage against uh, Larry Jr.'s there. So that saves me, as far as I'm concerned, from having to buy uh, a Spirit Heart from our boss. That should give us a drop of some sort, and it's not a spider, and we get up to 13 cents. This is going well. We're starting to stack together some good stuff here. Three extra bombs. We still have our Stars card. Honestly... There's an obvious interpretation of how to use the Stars card. You would just use it on uh, Boss Rush to get out. And it looks like there's a fairly decent chance we might be able to get there uh, in time to make that a approachable as an option. Okay, terrible second secret room. Um, but we might just use it to get out of a, a room that we don't want to do, like a Boss Trap room or, you know, get out of a Curse room without taking damage, etc., etc. For now, uh, Curse of the Labyrinth, huh? This is really going to give us... That was such horrible damage there. Um, this is really going to give us a good shot to get to Boss Rush. We get three of them? We did get three of them. And a penny. Not that that's uh, the ideal Glitter Bomb's outcome, but it's okay. Um, and if we get to Boss Rush, you know, the Stars card's very valuable. Especially if we can get, like, Diplopia to go along with it. And we're going to have the money to at least buy whatever we see from shops, should we actually desire it. Takes us to 20 cents. First things first, though, let's not get ahead of ourselves, you know, worrying about this, like, late-game meta bullshit. We're on a zero streak here. We're trash players, and, you know, we deserve only misery. So let's get ourselves up to the point where we get to, like, a, a five streak or something like that. Then we'll start talking about, like, oh, how does this look for the late game? I'm still the same dude who got that 100 streak at some point. This, this time last year, roughly. Um, let's 
Let's make it happen, man. That's still probably like my greatest gaming accomplishment. I don't think that's that sad. A hundred streak is pretty impressive. But uh, since then, we've been floundering a little bit. Some streaks in the 20s, maybe even approaching the 30s. But we got to be better, fundamentally speaking. I wouldn't dispute this in the least. Now. That's all right. Sometimes, you know, sometimes Kobe Bryant goes out there. He puts down three MVP seasons in a row. Sometimes he goes out there. He's kind of a shitty year. He comes back next year, wins an MVP. I know he retired this year, but still, you know, at the same time, you get what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we can recapture our former glory. I think the trick to recapturing our former glory is to not squeeze too tight. Otherwise, the glory runs through your fingers and it drips onto your wrist. And then later, like you're like, oh, why is it sticky here? I must have spilled something on myself. And then you're like, oh, that's my glory, of course. I've lost my chance. No, not today, sir. Not today at all. Got to remember, because I'm, I'm like looking at this floor and I'm like, man, we're not doing very much damage. It's the third floor. Don't get too bent out of shape. You got good defense. You got a decent setup with your good starting stats, I mean, minus HP, I suppose. Um, great consumable setup. Glitter Bombs is a nice touch as well. Pretty low likelihood that would be a secret room because of the fact that the floor is so big, but you, you know, get the idea. Oh my god, I dodged right into it. There we go. Grab another key. Get, get Bloody Penny, man. Just get Bloody Penny, no big deal. Taurus, we are going to be slow. But we are going to get faster and work towards building that invincibility on every single floor. Hopefully we can get there. We're going to need some speed upgrades to make it likely, though. Uh, I think we're going to open all of these, and then we're going to teleport out. It's going to be messy, though. I will take Bob's brain. I will take this spirit heart. Maybe we won't teleport out, because we've already almost finished the first wave. Just by, you know, showing up. Uh, we got Infamy, Goathead, Bob's Brain, and um, a Spirit Heart. This is actually a great return on our investment here. Every other consumable that we get is, is fine, you know, it's just icing on the cake. But uh, when Bob's Brain explodes, it also has the same chance to give us an item as Glitter Bombs do. So, uh, as a result of Glitter Bombs, to make that clear. So, this is actually really good. And we can save our Stars card for later use instead of just giving it up too quickly, you know? This is a good setup. I'm glad we didn't use the stars card as well, because it turns out that we were really close to the other item room, so it wasn't really going to illuminate much of the floor for us. This gives us Toxic Shock, which is wonderful. Alright, we're, we're starting to see this run come into focus a little bit. The two lenses are being arranged properly, and uh, I think that I may actually be able to foresee us getting a victory here. Now I want... Um, I want, like, an alternate damage build if we can swing it. Give me butt bombs and then, like, number two. So I can just open the room by doing a lot of damage to these enemies with Toxic Shock. And then, like, number two, a butt bomb into them. And, uh, or just, you know, lots of bombs and butt bombs would be fine as well. Okay, that was a little nasty. But a third Pretty Fly or second Pretty Fly is really good. Um, obviously we want to see our shop on this floor if possible. Even GB Baby's coming out to do some damage here. It's not really a, a good item most of the time, or a great item most of the time. It's always half decent. Actually, I never thought I'd... Well, you know what? I was going to say I never thought I'd say this, but that's not true. I say this frequently, but I would really like to have more uses out of Bob's brain. Just give me, like, one Bob's brain every second. And then maybe call it Ipecac and... Release it uh, to me with items that are not the parasite, and then I'm, it's a dream come true. Okay, could be greed in the shop. I think it's treated as a second floor, not a first floor. We got lucky that it wasn't. Um, truth be told, of course we could take uh, we could take the candle, but I don't like the idea of taking the candle. Actually, I kind of like the fact that we've been able to get some extra money here. We'll probably have a chance to get another space bar item later, so I'm not gonna sweat having maybe a slightly suboptimal space bar item now that is probably going to allow us to buy items from our next two shops. Oh my god, we just got a golden key. We also got Dark Bum stacked up here. He's going to be fed completely. And we just want to make sure that he's dropping these red hearts, uh, or dropping the bonuses from these red hearts outside of that room. Good, 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 good. Basically batted a thousand there. That's awesome. So we are stacked on HP, and this is, I mean, it's unlikely because of the, the fact that we had to deal with the devil on the last floor. Oh my god. 
we're almost at full HP completely here now as a result of that uh, Bob's Brain Glitter Bomb payout. But all we, uh, probably Mom's Pearl we have to thank for that as well. But um, all we need is a surprising deal with the devil here. And I will buy everything. I might buy items that are kind of shitty just because our odds of getting uh, Spirit Hearts are, are fairly high regardless. Taurus is about to go off for the first time. Just land a Bob's Brain. We can finish this off without having to get invincible. Not that it matters. There we go. All right. Easy kill. Blood Clot for some extra damage. A little extra money. We got the Stain. Uh, that's all I really cared about there was landing that Bob's Brain shot. Don't want to use our only Glitter Bomb here because, you know, we do still need that for Tinted Rocks if possible. Come on. Just get Bob's Brain lined up. Oh, it worked! And we got HP, which we won't take until we enter the boss fight. And this is unfortunate, of course. You don't want to fight Krampus in this situation. You want to trade some HP away, but... Um, Lump of Coal would be awesome. I could probably be persuaded to take Krampus's head. Why Why Krampus's head, but not Blue Candle? I think Krampus's head is a little more exciting than Blue Candle. You may disagree, but I, I'm of that opinion, at least. So we didn't really uh, speed our run up very much at all, actually, here. On this floor, but we are going to be basically right on schedule, which is fine. I guess we take a red heart, you know. doesn't really matter one way or the other. We'll go to the Curse of the Unknown. And I got to reiterate, we are very, very slow right now. Not in terms of killing rooms. We're doing okay in that department. But in terms of actually... Uh, Avoiding bombs that go off in our face, yes. So basically, I just traded a spirit heart for one cent. That's not a good trade, but I thought we might be able to outrun it. In spite of the fact that I literally prefaced um, my interaction with that bomb with the sentence, We're so slow. But, uh, you know, that's this uh, hard-fought lesson. And sometimes hard-fought lessons are the most important, man. Sometimes those are the ones that stick with you. You know, I know when you're a kid, you, you memorize things pretty easily. You say, oh, what's... I never forget anything, you know? You're going to forget stuff, and sometimes those lessons that take you a while to learn are the ones that actually stick with you the most. I don't have a convenient example to use, but that's okay. We have a cat that would like to enter the room. Hello, cats. You may enter, but please do not eat the breadcrumbs off of this plate that I used to consume a sandwich from Subway. Subway does not sponsor us. We have inquired... Nobody's ever gotten back to us. I uh, I enjoy a sandwich from time to time, and I'm not ashamed of it. That, that, maybe that's uh, they weren't that impressed with that as a slogan. Subway, I'm not ashamed to eat here. Doesn't really send the right message. It's not on brand, I guess. But How about this one? Subway, we're everywhere. You could do worse. Ruka. What are you doing here? Oh, Black Candle for sure. Um, everything else we'll probably just ignore for now. Apparently there's a Spirit Art back here I missed. Oh, and I can't pick it up regardless because my HP's full, of course. Hey, buddy. Ruka. Just lay down and go to sleep. You're like a baby, but you're never going to become an adult who could, you know, win the lottery or become a doctor or something and support me later in life. So... You can just, like, go to sleep and make both of our lives easier right now. That's, that's ideal. That's what true happiness is. Ooh, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I hated it when I only saw one bomb. Sure as shit hated it when I saw that second one. Ooh, thank you for the spirit heart. Okay. We're probably not due for a deal with the devil. But it would be sick. I really, I was trying to ride the lightning there, but uh, it's too tight to get it done. Okay, the creep is going to get me. This is a nasty bloat fight, man. Mostly because my damage is kind of shitty. Perfect invincibility, though. Oh, you know what? We have Goathead. Why am I worried about not getting a deal with the devil? That's very silly. Um, sure, we'll take the ability to fly. And we'll definitely take Incubus as well. And I think we'll take Placenta and then try to give it away in our next deal with the devil. Why are we even slower than we used to be? Like, am I losing it here? Hopefully our, uh... Get the other one on the way back. Hopefully our second secret room is close. Or, sorry, our regular secret room is close. And by regular secret room, of course, I mean item room. 
Hagalaz. Crack these all open. We don't need to fight them all. Justice card. That's what I'm looking for. Something that gives us some consumables. Emperor card. Yeah, Emperor card is, uh, it's a bit of a weird situation when it comes to teleporting out of a room, but I like the Emperor card more than the uh, Stars card for doing so because of the fact that it can actually allow us to get into the boss room first as well, which is important uh, in case we're, we're really tight on time. We can just teleport there, and then we can't teleport out, but at least we can teleport there, you know? I, I recognize, by the way, there is a Spirit Heart. Let's go back and get that. Um, we should probably use our Stars card in advance then, because shit's getting tight here, but I really also have to reconcile that with the fact that this run is kind of bad right now, and it's in my best interest to go to every single item room, as always, to improve it. Um, that, that guy was unhittable. I guess you have to kill the other enemies first? No, he's hittable that time. What a strange world we live in. Okay. We'll get that money on the way back, of course. Four battery charges, maybe? Probably should have been hit there. One battery charge. It's, it's just two battery charges, okay. We got one cent out of that extra extra love there. That's fine. Please, don't give me large. Just give me less than three, which I think is what you drop regardless. Excellent, beautiful, awesome, thank you. And a luck upgrade. Hmm, well, even like... I don't think I really want to go to Boss Rush using this Emperor card. But that does mean that with 11 keys, the Emperor card is still more valuable just as a utility item that we can use on the womb instead of having to use it necessarily on, on Boss Rush to get max value out of it. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Ah, uh, we only lost half a Spirit Heart in that endeavor, so... Now, admittedly, because I'm a self-destructive person and Isaac, my initial hunch is, let's just... Let's just use the Emperor card to avoid having to walk back. This is a bad idea. The walk is not a hard part here. Okay. We should take Book of Revelations. It guarantees us a cube of meat, probably. Gives us a, a good chance of getting a cube of meat, at least. Um, and beyond this, of course, the Spirit Heart action. Makes it something I'm more interested in than you might expect. Lo lovely, maybe? I don't know. 32 cents. It's amazing how quickly we got out of boss rush possibility on this floor. I'm not mad about it. Life goes on. But man, our, our speed is just hideous right now. Right now, I'm thinking, don't use the Emperor card. If you find the boss amazingly quickly, of course, use it. But um, don't use the Emperor card. Save it for, like, the Womb 2 or the Cathedral. Skip that difficulty and just go straight to the good stuff, you know? There's an off chance we might be able to make it happen with Blue Map here, but it, I'm extremely skeptical and, and rightfully so, I think. I We really don't have a, an easy way to beat Mom quickly, you know, to be frank. I didn't really talk about it, but uh, it's a great pickup that we got Incubus, by the way. So even though our damage is not very good, Incubus at least makes it better than it used to be. I was trying to think of something clever there. It's like, it's like, less not very good. But that's not very clever either, honestly. That's just poor English, isn't it? Uh, we can't reroll anything. Just buy this and donate, and this will pretty much preclude you from being able to, uh, from being able to go to the boss rush, and that's fine. It's extremely unlikely now. Little Gish, the item that cursed us on the last run. No, probably your own poor play cursed you, but that's... Also, okay, Swallowed Penny. No, nope. we, we've got the right setup here for sure. I mean, we could Emperor, we've been to both the special rooms, but even if we Emperored, I think we got such a low chance of actually beating Mom in time that... I mean, every every second I spend talking about it lowers it substantially more, but... This is, uh... I think this is our cue to just ignore Boss Rush, get a win under our belt, and... Hopefully start to make something consistent that kind of gets us out of this, you know, five wins, death, three wins, death sort of cycle I've been in lately. We have a ton of defense on this run, obviously in the form of, uh, you know, Book of Revelations, which is now going to take us to full health, despite the fact that we got hit on this room, and um, Dark Bomb, obviously, as well. Works out well there. Mom's Pearl, etc., etc., but, uh, I have to be honest, like, we're, we're lacking a lot in the damage department here, and I'm dodging really poorly. I'm going to chalk that up to maybe, like, a little bit of Gungeon play. I'm getting too close to bullets or enemy projectiles and then being like, don't worry, we'll just dodge roll out of the way. Oops, I'm hit. Oh, I'm dead. Onsu's rune. At least this tells us where we should go. 
And a greed fight here means no greed fight in our shop. Haha, <laughs> I'm making a joke. Of course, because we've already been to our shop. We should try to do the boss trap room. I don't really want to teleport out of it. I think it's much more valuable to skip an entire uh, floor of rooms that are probably unlikely to be nice to us than it is to skip one room in the form of the boss trap room that's unlikely to be nice to us. Oh my gentle Jesus, stop turning around, man. Haven't you ever heard the song? Don't turn around, uh-oh. I don't even start on that fucking room. I'm telling you, they keep patching stuff in. I don't know if this is true, but my pet theory is every once in a while just to fuck with us, they patch something into the game. I've never seen so many of the bullshit arcades. Key beggar bed is just, it's the worst arcade, man. Whatever you're doing, Tyrone, just stop, stop right there, man. The old arcade meta was fine. This key beggar bullshit doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's beat mom. We will get a deal with the devil. We got three deals with the devil left, and we've already beaten Krampus. Three guaranteed deals with the devil left. We've already beaten Krampus, so I am expecting that, you know, whatever debt we've, uh... Taken on, we've already paid, basically. Forgot, yeah, I could really use some speed upgrades if you desire to give them to me. That went very well. Take the Polaroid, come in here. Uh, we don't need that ability to fly. We don't need it. Let's save it for the next floor. And you might say, well, why would you save it for the next floor? Um, you could get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Well, what I'm thinking is, why don't we just get permanent Polaroid invincibility anyway by Emperor carding this floor? And it, it's even like a little bit nicer that it's a Curse of the uh, Lost. Because I'm much more likely to Emperor card a Curse of the Lost where I don't really know where I am to begin with. Wait, is this not Curse of the Lost? I can see the map. Disregard. <laughs> I honestly don't think it's worth taking my shadow either. Um... So we're just going to head down to the womb, too. I think that's a fine use of the Emperor card, honestly. And what is this one? Yeah, now it's the normal arcade, now that I can't take advantage of it. But whose fault is that? I'm really, really thankful we got that speed upgrade, man. I've been... Oh, that was bad. I've been low on speed the whole run. And we have Taurus. So it makes us even slower. But also, um, I guess that's probably why I entered some rooms. And I was like, why am I so slow now? Probably because you finished a room that was fairly long, so you gained speed over the course of it, and then, yeah. Anyway. Anything that, uh, I mean, it's not super likely to make Taurus pop in, like, two seconds. You know, it's probably more like, maybe it cuts five seconds off the Taurus activation time. I just tried to reload like I was playing Gungeon. Like, press R. Put bullets back in your weapon, sort of reload. Um, I'm, th well, this is going well now, but... The small rock pickup is really nice, but I'm thinking that uh, we don't want a puberty pill. I'm thinking that uh, anything that just allows us to dodge is nice. Like, don't, let's not worry about Taurus synergies too much yet. Let's worry about fucking being able to move out of the way of a bullet synergies. One room. All right, the whole run has been rerolled. Oh, God. Oh, no. We have, like, 2020 conjoined. All of our bombs make cluster bombs. Ooh, this is this is horrible. Um, we must have Virgo. We also have Thunder Thighs, so we are exceptionally slow. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this is literally winnable. I, I am actually too slow to get out of the way of my own bombs as I'm shooting them behind me. Luckily, maybe I have the wafer. I have Nod Leaf. I have no orbitals though. That one hurts. That one I shouldn't have taken damage on. Well, use your invincibility to your favor. There's nowhere to stand. I'm learning that fairly quickly here. I can't kill this guy. Oh, you know what it is? It's Curse of the Tower. It's not Cluster Bombs. That's actually much better for me. But still horrible. Um, second secret room here? Nope. Okay. How are we going to get out of this fucking mess? What if we... If we shoot and then stand still? No, there's definitely some scatter bombs in here. Don't don't trick yourself. But only your tears make scatter bombs, so it must be like, uh... 
Parasite or something like that. Okay, well, we, we will not be guaranteed to deal with the devil any longer. The good news is, as you can see, the damage is nuts. We, we just cannot fight Hush. That's indisputable. This is going to be the worst. Uh, we have one bomb left. Curse of the Blind is irrelevant, I'd imagine. Just walk into the fire, please. Thank you. Um, we need as much HP as possible. This is good. Charge me! Charge me! Charge me again! Save the girl! That's gonna... Oh, no. Charge me! We've done it. <laughs> we beat one room. Okay, just keep it up. Once you get to the boss... Oh, we got Stompy here, so we should... Or we, we Thunder Thighs, I should say, so we should stomp stuff. Hanged Man, potentially fairly valuable here, actually. If it gives us even the slightest bit extra mobility. Um, Bob's Rotten Head. Just what we needed is another bomb. At least it's a long-range bomb. So that's how we have to shoot now. We have to, like, bounce it off a wall. There is a uh, Spirit Heart here. I don't know, man. This is, I mean, this is horrible. But that's why we're here. Is to have these horrible runs so you don't have to. What's our seed? FXDQ48M9. Just go through the fire. Oh, right. I can't fly anymore. You dummy! This HP is extremely valuable. You think this is some kind of joke? When you get invincibility, we have to abuse the shit out of it. Oh my god, Key Beggar is paid out with some extra bombs. Who knows what our extra life is here, by the way. You should be dead now. I, I don't even think it matters if we come back as Dark Judas. Like, I think it's... I think we're in the same situation either way. Might as well take this. Please just start in the fire. Oh, he's done it. We got him. And we've lived until the chest. We're really hoping for Pyromaniac here. I don't know if anything else will do it. Curse of the Unknown. Wonderful. Um, I have no idea about Tractor Beam, man. But sure, let's do it. It seems like Tractor Beam has somehow saved us by giving our shots substantially more range. Deal with the devil. No, it's it's not takeable. We, we can still hit ourselves, so let's not act like this is easy. But it's not as hard as it used to be. Yeah, take the keys, Key Beggar. We now remember we still have a life. We still have a life that we can come back to here. Mm, that's not going to do it. Um, I mean, there is Nod Leaf, but we don't have an orbital. If we had, like, a single orbital, I'd be Nod Leafing all over the world right now. It's so much harder than you would think to avoid these. Please. Oh, Lord. I don't know, man. That might actually be a permanent Polaroid invincibility. That might not be the nice, you know, Virgo invincibility. Oh my god. Two spirit hearts. I just heard the audio cue that we picked them both up. Box of spiders? I don't know, man. Bob's Rotten Head is actually a, a fairly nice and surprisingly safe damage source. Any invincibility has to be taken advantage of. See, this is the good stuff right here. Got plenty of time to get out of the way here. What is this room color now? We're just painting floors at this point. Very suspicious how it dodged the fire there. Not trying to say there's anything fishy going on, just saying it was, it was quite suspicious. I think we're gonna win. This is actually kind of hilarious and kind of horrible, but 
The invincibility is our greatest tool! We've done it! Holy crap! Well, that's one way to get your first win of a streak. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.